Really? How did how do people live on this planet with this thing here? It's just arms. Horrifying, horrifying arms. Hey folks, welcome back to After Work Gaming. Tonight we're back in Alice VR and we're picking up pretty much where we left off last time. Last time we finished this thing called the Gordian Knot. We came across this little buggy and the shrinking machine right there. I just went ahead and shrunk us down and got into the buggy because... Yeah, why not? So we could just go straight into the vent. Now, I'm assuming we're going to come out into the main plaza. Oh, there's only one gear on this, okay. We're going to come out into the main plaza where we were last time. And now it's going to be a right turn. There we go. Uh, anything here? Nope. Nope, I'm not seeing any pickups or any, like, uh, discoverables, audio logs, cards, etc. Although, you know, my, my history with this game pretty much means I'm going to be missing stuff all over the place. And for that, I apologize. But, uh, whatever, it's all fun. It's all fun. Uh, what we do? Ooh. A little, uh, little progress music there. Anyway, uh, if you recall, we actually started getting on Heart's Nerves. That's the AI from the ship that we got he sent here by. Because we are basically disobeying her now. Just straight out, not getting graphene, which is what we were sent down to get. Alice, you won't find any graphene here. Follow my instructions. See, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see, let's see. We're not listening to her, because we've we've come across a couple of these graphene dispensers that apparently... In the city, there are also devices allowing shrinking and growing. They should help you find a way to the next plaza. Uh-huh. Wait, these boards are back up. Hey, buddy, did you reset my boards? What's going on? This thing's closed. Yeah, those doors should be open. Okay, fine. Uh, so we did pretty much everything here. This whole plaza reset? Does that mean I can get more graphene? So uh, I've, I'm following a pretty simple rule set. And now the door's back down. Could be that that thing just fixed everything. But I doubt that because, look, the cabinets are back. And I'd bet, I'd bet dollars to donuts that that robot is still back there. I doubt that he's going to... Yeah, see, those things are empty now. Okay, fine. I can't get more graphene that way. Um, so I have a pretty simple rule. I'm not going to turn off the dispensers unless it's, like, super dire and I really need them. Because they, those control certain, like, important systems within this city, and I don't want to turn those off. The other option is... Ooh. The other option is to just find those containers, which is exactly what I'm doing. I'm looting the containers, but nothing else. Okay. This is one of the areas that I'm concerned might be progress, but this gives me hope, because I think this might open the door. So let's just do the tossing puzzle. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, this is about finding the right order. That does not help. There we go. Okay, that's the wrong order, you see. Okay, okay. Okay, nope. Uh, well, that didn't even... that didn't do anything. There we go. Come here. Okay. Fourth time's a charm. Fourth time's... Come here. Come here. There you go. One. All right. Now we got to go through this whole rigmarole. Let's do two. Nope. Thought it might be inside, outside. All right. You know what? Forget about inside, outside. Let's just get them hit. Okay. Step number one. Actually hit them. Number one. Boom. Two. Okay, good. Uh... 50-50 shot here. Oh, lucky. And... Boom! Um, no graphene, then? Is that how we're going to do this? Okay, fine. I guess I get lit in here. Now, this is the granary, if I remember the signs correctly. Well, that's just great. But this goes back up. Okay, cool. So we can, we can open the door. Fine. Um... This is a little bit more dark than I expected. A little bit more dour, shall we say? Um, okay, well, there was no gas, and obviously... Obviously, I'm confused. This shark, by the way, has had some serious fights. Look at those. Look at those other bite marks right there. Oof. Okay, what do we got? What do we got? Uh, we got... Um, oh, can we take these? Can we go through here? Take that off. No. 
I don't even see. I think this is just like a grate or like a a, a wall, basically a, a bar wall. Okay. Wait, what's on the table? The Mad Hatter's fruit salad. The bowl, the spoon, two apples, an orange, and a kiwi. Got the bowl. Got an orange. Good start. Okay, what else we got? Um, can we take those off? No, we can take these off though. Yeah, spoon. Can we? What happens if we put all this stuff together? Is my question. Okay, so spoon. Now we need two apples. What is that? That's a kiwi. We need a kiwi too, I think. Okay, kiwi goes in the bowl. There was an apple and some rolls, but the apple is the important thing. Uh, we are missing one apple. Okay, let's go find an apple. Um, mm -hmm. Nothing. Is there nothing here? There should be something. I mean, this is like all sorts of hidden. Nope. Fine. It's over here. Tools. Tools are good. Tools are irrelevant right now, but fine. They're good. Uh, ooh. Okay, let's wait. There, it doesn't look like there's anything back there. It doesn't look like I can get back there anyway. Back off. Okay. Golden delicious apple. Ooh. Bravo. I couldn't have done it better myself. Well. Okay. Ooh, and we got a card. Uh, now, go ahead and read the card. And, <laughs> true to what I said before, I have missed at least one. There we go. Are you content now? said the caterpillar. Well, I should like to be a little larger, sir, if you wouldn't mind, said Alice. Three inches is such a wretched height to be. It is a very good height indeed, said the caterpillar angrily, rearing itself upright as it spoke. It was exactly three inches high. I like that. I like the little snippets of, of, uh, of the book that we get. Um, I'm wondering if there's something more to it, though. Like something more lore-based, whatever. That seems like it's it. I think that's all we got, was we got the card. We didn't get any graphene, which is a little upsetting. Come on, tell me that this opens. Yeah, we didn't get graphene, which is a little upsetting. I would have liked to see some graphene. Bull. Yes, okay, so we do have to get into... The Great Temple. That's what that order, that's what that place goes to. Alright, buddy, just, there we go. Uh, there's nothing left here for us, so let's go to the Great Temple, eh? Do we have another puzzle? No, we don't. That doesn't have targets at all. What is this? It's off. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna guess this is it. Yeah, this is on now. Okay, uh, let's override the door, I guess. No, no. Remember, when it turns green. Green, green. Perfect. Any minute now. Oh, there we go. Alright. So. Okay. Take a quick look around here. Art, anything to add? No? No? Okay. Little plaza back there with a little robot. That's nice. Um, doors. Doors, can we open? Yeah, nice. We can open this door. Can open. We can push a button, which I guess brings down the elevator. We can go hunting monsters in Tristram, I guess. I don't know. That looks a little out of place with all this metal, but fine. Alice, as I've told you before, the next graphing dispenser is in the city district across the bridge. You should head there immediately. Remember that ignoring my instructions may be treated as insubordination. Ooh. <laughs> this is this is a sign of just how pissed Hart is. We have never heard the the insubordination uh, warning from her before. It was always just like, just don't you don't have to care about that. We're here on a mission, and then all of a sudden, okay, so we can use these doors. Um, and that thing freaks me out. But okay, let's do this. Before I start hopping into people's houses, let's go... What's over here? Another spoon, another... But I can't open that. Okay, let's go check out this plaza. 
Okay, I gotta go check that out afterwards. Um, okay. Hey, buddy. I think he's running away from me. Are you running away from me? Are you afraid of me? Yeah, he's freaking out. Okay, fine. What the, what the heck is that? Ooh, it's another card. That's what it is. Um, sure. Cool. Wanted dead or alive. Reward. I mean, that can't be me, right? Because why would that be me? What? Uh, I'm in a sack of rocks. Let's read the card. Cards. Ooh, I didn't miss one. Never mind. I have nothing to apologize for then. <laughs> okay. I quite agree with you, said the Duchess. And the moral of that is, be what you would seem to be. Or, if you'd like to put it more simply, never imagine yourself not to be otherwise than what it might appear to others that what you were or might have been was not otherwise than what you had been would have appeared to them to be otherwise. <laughs> okay. Uh, three, four, five. We're missing the six, the two. Really? Go straight to the queen after the eight? Really shouldn't. King, jack, nine, ten, ace. Okay, well, it's all, it's all cards of one suit, I guess, if you really want to. All spades. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's go check out that door, yeah? And... Alright, hey folks, uh, I'm back after <clears throat> falling through uh, the uh, geometry a little bit, and also playing around here. Um, so I apologize, the next thing I'm going to show you I've already seen, but uh, in the course of trying to find where I can walk in this place, I've learned that there's really just a golden path, which is kind of like this, and then back, because anything on that side of the plaza... Uh, will mean I'm going to fall through the ground. Which means, I don't know if that door opens, I don't know what's on, I mean, I don't know what's on those tables. Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, whatever, it doesn't matter. The dispenser supplying the city shelter. I did not have any data about it. You're lucky that your disobedience resulted in finding more graphene. Yeah, I'm lucky. Uh, and of course, remember that the rule that we're following is we don't do this. Now, this supplies the shelter, by the way. That That, that is definitely not getting uh, powered down. So after this, I that's the only thing I saw. I don't know what happens after this. So now we're back into, you know, playing it blind. Is Hart going to yell at me now? Alice, yeah. there's no one left in this city. Why do you let the graphene go to waste? Our mission depends on it. Notice she's not saying insubordination anymore. It's just like, mission, 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 mission. You can't guilt me into it, Hart, okay? And you can't threaten me into it either, so your talk of insubordination doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay, let's check out what's inside these houses. These two doors opened. Oops. Mm -hmm. Nothing fall. Oh. Oh. Um... Um, no, come on, come on, nope, I'm just wondering if I can, like, knock one of these ones off, no, what about, no, alright, whatever, these are pleasant, no, they're not, they're absolutely not pleasant, okay, this is like a sculptor, or like a ceremonial whoever it is, that I guess makes stuff for the, for whatever that horrifying cathedral looking thing is, the sanctuary here is a shady place. Every night a preacher performs some ritual and preaches about remembering one's place within the society. Oh, we know our place in the galactic society all too well. The preacher is clearly losing it. You can see it in his eyes. Okay. Sanctuary. Helpful. Okay. That's door number one. Let's just close that up. I don't like those sculptures. Let's go to the other one. Yeah, I will have to point out, though, that's the first time uh, I've fallen through anywhere or, or encountered, like, one of these weird glitches, so... Uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm hoping it's an aberration. 
I mean, it is an aberration, but I'm like, I'm hoping it's like a one-time thing. Um, okay. How will we pack for the evacuation? It's madness. I worry for my family. This whole situation is very strange. But I believe that the council actions are right. After all, we can only rely on ourselves. Other. But the evacuation... Didn't we find an audio log which said, like, the whole thing with the preacher is just set up? By someone? I think it was called, like, agent or something like that. But, like, somebody showed up and said, Oh, yeah, my charge is ready to go out and proselytize, essentially. Uh, Alright, well, let's see what's up there. Hopefully we can get back down here. I mean, we should, right? Because we have to go through that, uh, over the bridge and go to the, the, uh, the city. This is cool. I do like this. I mean, like, the aesthetic of it and the look of it is very cool. Nice. That poster, though. I don't know what that's about, but that's a freaky poster. Okay. All right. Uh, audio log over there. Okay. That door doesn't open. Assimilation proves to be difficult. A rumor has spread that I work for the corporation, despite my efforts to conceal all ties. At least my charge has been accepted in the sanctuary. It's time to get him to prophecy. See, that's what I'm talking about. It's that person that's causing everybody to leave. But why they want everybody to leave? Corporation, by the way. Isn't that who we work for? Am I wrong about that? What is this? Oh, it's a sweet roll. Okay. Not really a sweet roll. It's just a bun. No? Oh, what about this door? No? Okay, fine. We were up here for the audio log alone, it seems. So let's go back down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and then let's go to... I guess let's hit the sanctuary first, because I'm not going to... The, the city's probably the next progression point. If I had to take a guess. But let's go to the sanctuary. Alice. Be advised that insubordination will be punished upon ceasing to be useful to the corporation. Remember that a disobedient worker is a useless worker. Wow. Okay, so Hart is getting a little bit more annoyed with me. Is it just me or is it all turning red? Yeah, it totally is. Wait, wait, wait. No. <laughs> wait a minute. This is not the way that it should be working. I don't get locked in. This isn't the progression point, guys. Come on. Damn it. Hope I didn't just screw myself up. Okay. I got wheels. Wheels are good. More wheels. That's less good. Arms. Really? How do, how do people live on this planet with this thing here? It's just arms. Horrifying, horrifying arms. Oh my god. Okay. Um, is there a reason I'm in. Uh, reason I'm hitting an invisible wall, that's for sure. Uh, is there anything I'm seeing or should be seeing here? More invisible walls. Okay, I can't go up there, obviously. So what's this? Okay, that's fine. One of those masks from the he's watching or whatever the, the, the phrase actually is. Um oh. An ancient curse looms large. Horrors will haunt you in broad daylight. There is no salvation for this city. We must flee. Okay, so that's that's the preacher. Those arms are getting a little more animated, man. This could be just a dream. Sure. Uh, this could. Uh, otherwise known as this is just a dream. Thanks. On your place, find peace. Man, this place is... What is real? Ascend above your perception. Oh, I'm there, man. You and me. Are they hints? Is that a hint of some a description? 
No, it just looks like a thing. So that's print. Not a print. That's like... It's all written with like a nice brush. Weird. What else we got? There was another arm thing over there. Yeah, there's another set of arms right here. Uh, nothing is real, everything is perceived. No? No, that feels pretty real. Can't walk past it. Uh, whoa! I will face him and walk backwards into hell. Will I? Enlightenment is not what you think. Really? Uh, I'm, I have an idea. Reality bleeds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why don't I try this? Walk past it? No, the invisible walls. Thank you. Um, I will face him and walk backwards to hell. What if I just walk backwards? Totally gonna hit a wall right now, aren't I? Yeah. But I... I walk backwards to hell, guys! Uh, what about this way, though? <laughs> what if I do that? I'm not gonna run, I'm just gonna walk it. Believe that I am 100% just screwing around here now. Yeah? What if I just keep walking back here, yeah? No, it's called physics. It's called physics, people. I'm not falling through. Nothing's happening. If I'm a him, though, there is no him. Uh huh. Uh. Nope. No, I mean, there's nothing down there. There's just a thing. And beyond your perception. The thing is, I don't know what part of this is cryptic, like, you know, faux religious whatever. And what part of this is legitimate, like, weirdness. Because I don't really see anything up here. Um. Alright, well, why don't I just... Whoa, why don't I just walk back like this? Worst comes to worst, we're gonna leave this place, right? I don't know what that did. Something happened. Okay, I'm... But that was like a progress chime. Does that mean... What happens if I go back in there now? Is this just going to be complete nots nonsense again? Oh, well, yeah. I'll kind of face him and walk backwards into hell. Yeah, that doesn't really help me. Okay, we're leaving. There's probably something more in there, but... I, I am not seeing it, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so the door is open. That's fine. And, uh, now, hey, now. Boys, as I told you before, the next graphing dispenser is in the city district across the bridge. You should head there immediately. Remember that ignoring my instructions may be treated as insubordination. All right, all right, fine. Let's go. Let's go into the city, heart. Uh, haha. What? <laughs> okay. Alright, fine. Riddles. I'm assuming that's the Mad Hatter. Here we go. <laughs> At night they come without being fetched. By day they are lost without being stolen. Um, stars... Dreams, fireflies. By day they're lost. It's really stars, isn't it? There we go. My neighbors make mistakes. I get rid of them. I mean, an eraser, I suppose. 
There we go. It's not, I mean, this was, I mean, it could be a hitman, but that sounds pretty dark. Whoa, what? Who makes it doesn't tell it. Who takes it doesn't know it. Who knows it doesn't want it. It's all got to be about that first one, doesn't it, right? Because who takes it doesn't know it doesn't mean poison. Doesn't make any sense. Who takes it doesn't know it, in theory, should be counterfeit. Who knows it doesn't want it. All right, you could tell people it's a placebo because you could... T okay, let's go with counterfeit, eh? There we go. Yeah, because some people make placebos for, like, legitimate... For legitimate reasons. Hey, okay. here we are. We're in the. Oh, whoa. We're in the city. This place is cool. That looks like a. You guys ever been to New York City? These kind of look like the subway entries. And, uh, well, there you go. There's a subway. But, I mean, like, really, really, really look like the New York subway entries. Kind of funny. Oh. That one's backwards. Fine. Uh, nothing. Just luggage. Alice, I suggest you head to the city's control center. You should find enough graphene on your way there to refill our supply. Now the priority is to turn off the airspace barrier. Is it? I guess the point is, uh... Okay. Is that what I'm seeing here? Like these weird glimmers? Maybe. Or they may be clouds. Who knows? Mirabilis is an odd place indeed. Smack in the middle of nowhere and its people treat me with distance. But that's perhaps simply because I'm new here. If I am to complete my assignment, I'll have to cozy up. Luckily, my charge trusts me completely. Nice. Okay, so that's the agent showing up. Let's uh, let's hit the old button for the subway. They have feelings too. I really the art <laughs> the art choice for these ads is kind of interesting. Guys in Mirabilis, or maybe guys in the corporation, right? That's what we work for. Art pretty much confirmed it. I'm just looking to see if any of these like. Spots have something interesting in them. No, they don't. Okay. I'm assuming this... Yeah, that's going to make it go nice. Which begs the question, I guess. The greenhouse is closed until further notice due to contamination with an unidentified toxin. Access granted only to authorized personnel equipped with protective gear. Mm-hmm. Well, that's us, uh, which means we're probably going to hallucinate the moment we go in there. Button that's broken. Uh, eh, graphene. This guy. These guys are dumber than rocks, you know that? Like, they have not done a single thing thus far. They're just... <sighs> whatever. Um, let's see. That's probably the greenhouse that's so contaminated. And there is... Oh, there's another another audio log, and there's one, too. Okay. So, I think we're going to call it there. Uh, next time we come back, we'll pick up all the graphene, listen to the audio logs, and go into the Garden of Eden. Daughter, her wife... Everybody could be a spot. What is going on in this place, eh? Anyway, <laughs> we'll, fi we'll hopefully figure some more of that stuff out next time, and uh, see what heart is really getting at. I mean, at some point, she's starting to threaten us with uh, insubordination, so I'm assuming stuff's going to get real at some point. Anyway, with that said, if you guys enjoyed this, you know, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend, lets me know that I'm doing something right, lets me know that you want to see more of this stuff. If you have thoughts on what's going on, uh, want to point out something that I overlooked, which is absolutely possible, <laughs> want to see something else, want to see a different game, just want to just want to say something, by all means, leave a comment. Everything's welcome. And in any case, 
I will see you all next time. Better, 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 better